We have looked at a couple of concepts in this regular expressions course. We've looked at character classes, quantifiers, meta characters, capturing groups, alternation, and a bunch of other things. In this lesson, we'll be looking at an even more interesting concept in regular expressions. We'll be looking at the concept of look arounds. In regular expressions, you can create look around patterns. And what this means is that you specify a pattern, let's call this pattern A, then you have a look around pattern, and we can call this pattern B. And the idea is that the rejects engine would look for a match for pattern A, then it would look around this match to see if it can find a match for pattern B. In the case that it finds a match for pattern B, then the match for pattern A is considered valid. But in the case that it doesn't find a match for pattern B, then the match for pattern A is not a valid match. So you can think of this as a checker. You have a specific string that you're looking for, which is pattern A, and then you check around pattern A to see if you can find a pattern B. If you find a pattern B, it means pattern A is valid, but if you cannot find the pattern B around, then pattern A is not valid. Now don't worry if this doesn't make sense, what exactly is look around, what exactly is checker, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be explaining this in more detail and we'll also be looking at more examples. Look around in regular expression can be divided into two. The first is look ahead and the second is look behind. The idea of look ahead is you have a string and you look ahead of it, in front of it, to see if you can find the other pattern. And look behind is you look at the back of the string to see if you can find a specified pattern. Pattern. In this lesson, we'll be looking at look ahead, looking at look ahead. We'll be looking at look ahead in this lesson and in the next lesson, we'll be looking at look behind. So what is a look ahead pattern? A look ahead pattern asserts that a match for a pattern is followed by another pattern. And let's look at an example. Let's say we have a string like he has $20 and is 10 years old. Old. Now, what if we wanted to know how old this person is in this sentence? Now, maybe we can use a pattern that matches numbers like this. We have the digit meta character and then we have the plus quantifier, which means one or more. So here we are saying one or more digits. Now, by using this pattern, you can see it is matching two numbers in our string. It is matching 20 and it is matching 10. But in this case, we want to get the number that indicates how old this person is. And how can we determine? determine that? Well, we can look for a number that is followed by years old. So if we can define our pattern in such a way that it will match only the number that is followed by years old, then we know that this is how old this person is. And this is where we can use a look ahead pattern. The syntax of a look ahead pattern is what you can see on the screen. So we have Y, then we have an open parenthesis, a question mark, an equal symbol, then Z, and we have closing parenthesis. Y in this pattern represents the pattern pattern that you are looking for and Z in this pattern represents what you would look ahead for. So you're telling the rejects engine here is that look for a Y and after finding that Y, look ahead of the Y to see if there is a Z. In the case that there is a Z, it means Y is valid and in the case that you cannot find a Z, that means Y is not valid. For the parentheses, you use question mark and the equal sign. If you don't use question mark and equal sign, that means you are creating a capturing group but we're not creating a capturing group so the question mark an equal sign tells the rejects engine this is a look ahead pattern. So coming back to our example here, this is our Y. The Y is the digit meta character and the quantifier. And now we want to look ahead of this digit. So we have open and close parenthesis and we have question mark and the equal sign. So it means when you find a number like this, look ahead of it. Now, what do we want to look ahead for? We want to look ahead for space, Y-E-A-R-S space O-L-D. So here I can say space, Y-E-A-R-S space O-L-D. What do you notice here? We now have only one match. 20 is no longer match, but 10 is now matched. And why is 10 match? Because if you look in front of 10, you can find a space years space old, which we have in our look ahead pattern. But you cannot find a space years space old after 20. So what the rejects engine does here is that the rejects engine will first look for this pattern that we have here, which is the digit meta character and the plus quantifier, which means one or more digits. So the regex engine starting from the left would find 20. And after finding 20, before it returns this as a match, the regex engine would now check in front of 20 to see if you can find space year, space
space old. Now in this case, you cannot find space here, space old. So the regex engine knows this is not a valid match. Then regex engine keeps going forward and forward and forward and forward. Then it finds another one or more digits here. And before it returns this as a match, it will check is this followed by space year space old. In this case, it is followed by space year space old. So it would now return 10. Now what you see here is that the regex engine is not going to return 10 years old. It is only going to return 10. What happens is that the look ahead just says check if this string is in front. What you have in your look ahead would not be returned. Let's say I remove the look ahead and I just have something like this. You see it returns 10 years old. But in this case, we don't want to return years or old. We only care about the number so we can change this to a look ahead. So look ahead just basically checks if a string is there, but it should not return that string in the result. Now let's say I change this to 8 years and then I put an E here. You can see this is no longer a match because we expect space year space old, but this is followed by space year space eld. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but let's change this back to O. Now I'm going to give you a very simple exercise and you can post this video head on to the regex101.com website to try it out. But let's say I want to get a digit that specifies how much this person has. Can you figure out the right regular expression for this that would involve look ahead patterns? You can pause this video and try it out before I share the answer. I'll wait for you. I hope you try that out for yourself. But since we want to get the number that this person has, then we can look ahead for space dollars. So if I clear all of this in my look ahead pattern, I have space and then I have dollars. You can see 20 is now match. 10 is no longer match because our look ahead says look ahead of the digit and see if you can find a space dollars. And here we can find a space dollars. But in this case, we cannot find a space dollars. We can only find a space years old. Now, what we have seen so far is a positive look ahead where we look ahead of a particular string to check if it is followed by another string. And in the case that it is followed by the other string that we want, we know that this is a valid match but we also have something called negative look ahead and negative look ahead is the opposite it means return this if it is not followed by this in the case of positive look ahead it means return this if it is followed by this but in the case of negative look ahead it means return this if it is not followed by this and the syntax for this is you have your y you have your open parenthesis you have question mark exclamation sign and you have z and you have closing parenthesis so this is the syntax for a negative look ahead. For the positive look ahead, we have Y, we have open parenthesis, and we have question mark and equal sign before the Z. But for negative look ahead, you have question mark and exclamation. So coming back to our example here, let's say we want to match the number that is not followed by space dollars. We can change this equal here to exclamation. And now you can see 10 is match. But another thing you notice is that 2 is match. And why is this the case? Well, that is because for our digits here, here we specify one or more so what happens here is one or more means one or two or three or four or five repetitions and in the case of two we have one repetition and if you check after two you don't have a space dollars and that is why two is matched if i come here and i change this quantifier instead of saying one or more if i change this to two you can see this is no longer matched because the regex engine is going to check two repetitions and this is the two repetitions of digits and then for our negative look ahead it means it should not be followed by dollars and here it is followed by dollars so 20 is not returned instead 10 is returned but if i change this back to plus because plus means one or more the regex engine finds one repetition of the digit and it checks if it is not followed by dollars in this case after two you cannot find space dollars let's say after two i put a dollars like this you can see two is no longer match so regular expressions it can be tricky sometimes but let's say i put years old here after finding this digit ensure that it is not followed by space years space old in that case 20 which is a match for this pattern here one or more digits it is not followed by space years space old and that is why it is a match and in the case of one you can see one is also a match for one or more digits and it is not followed by space year space old. If I put a space year space old after one, you see it is no longer a match. But if I clear that back, it is now a match. And again, if I come here and I say a quantifier of two, you can see one is no longer a match because one does not qualify for two repetitions of digits. Only 10 qualifies for two repetitions of digits, but it is followed by space year space old. And in our pattern, we are saying it shouldn't be followed by space year space old. So in summary, 
a positive look ahead finds a string and checks if that string is followed by the pattern which you have in your look ahead pattern if a string is followed by that pattern this is valid if it is not followed by that pattern this is not valid but for a negative look ahead it finds a string and ensures that that string is not followed by the pattern you have specified in the negative look ahead pattern in the case that the string is followed by that pattern then it is not a match it is the opposite of the positive look ahead so it is not a match but in the case that it is not followed by that pattern then it is a match